Good evening. Thanks for joining us for DC News Now at 1030. I'm Chris Flanagan. We continue to follow breaking news tonight. Pro-Palestinian protesters returned to campus at George Washington University. DC News Now's Tosin Fikile joining us live right now at the scene there. And Tosin, this comes after DC police cleared their encampment and arrested 33 people just yesterday. <laughs> Well, Chris, we've gotten a lot closer to where the protesters are on F Street and 19th Street. Let me step off the shot to paint you a better scene. This is the crowd right here. They have been continuing with their chants. I walked amongst them a little bit. They're actually tense right here on the street. They have been sh doing their chants, Free Palestine. I was talking to some of them earlier, and they say they are determined to be here and will be here as long as they can. They are surrounded, though, by a lot of police presence. Every corner around this area has a lot of police presence. I'm going to talk to one of the protesters here. I'm with Selena and Selena tells me she has been here for the entire time of the protest. 14 days. You tell me you were arrested yesterday with a clash of police. Why are you guys back here again today? Yeah, so we've been out here for two weeks. They tried to shut us down yesterday and we are determined to show uh, them that despite arresting th 30 plus students, we will still be back here. We're currently in front of of the administration's office telling them that we will stay here until they immediately divest from a genocide. And you know, you guys had that clash with police yesterday. Any fears of a repeat of what happened? And does that deter you guys at all? Yeah, I mean, yesterday was brutal. They took away canes from disabled students. They arrested students while having a panic attack. It was completely disgusting. Pepper sprayed, punched students in the face. I mean, it was brutal, but we know that it's minuscule in comparison to what's going on in Gaza currently. And we plan to stay here until they divest from genocide, until they stop funding the genocide going on in Gaza. And we're determined to stay here. And no, we're not afraid. All right, Selena, thank you for talking to us. And right here, that has been the uh, the attitude, really, from most of the protesters here. Their message is very clear. And they've been here since about 6, 6.30. They've been moving around this central block here uh, near the George Washington University, uh, uh, George Washington University campus. And their message is clear. They want the university to divest. They want an end to this war in Gaza. And I do have to tell you, I walked amongst them. There are tents right here on the road. I was talking to Selena a little while ago, and she says, they plan to be here until they are moved. We'll have more reports for you live here on DC News Now. But for now, I'm Tosin Fakile live by F Street and 19th Street in the district. Back to you, Chris.